And howdy everybody and thanks for tuning in to this quick quick tutorial on Metabase and I think this is a great um, a great case study for Metabase in this example I um, uh, I'm applying for a data analyst job uh, in this example and they have sent over this CSV and they've also sent over this uh, some questions and what they wrote over here is please identify five traffic sources that exceeded the target quality okay so what this is this is data about uh about ads digital ads and the 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 traffic is coming from a couple of different publishers it's coming from a couple of different sub publishers uh as you can see it's a good amount over here and for each one of these rows over here we also have whether an account was created from a given click and whether a deposit was made from a different from a specific click so i think this is a great example of data that's that's uh, currently in csv format it's clear that the company is currently using CS, csv files to run their analysis but this is a great way uh, this is actually a good case where it would be a lot cleaner and more intuitive to use Metabase. So in this little tutorial, I'm going to actually take the CSV data, plug it into, uh, uh, upload it into a MySQL database, and then we're going to attach that MySQL meta, uh, uh, database to Metabase. Uh, and then we're finally going to run our analysis within Metabase and we're going to create a dashboard for the client, for the company, and uh, try to pitch them on the value of Metabase. So I'm really excited about this one. Let's, uh, let's do this together. Okie dokie. So step number one, what do we need to do? We need to take the CSV data, right? And we're actually gonna export it all right but here's the thing um uh, first of all when we're thinking about uh pushing this data into metabase it's uh it's usually better not to have um uh, not to have spaces in the titles so i'm just gonna go ahead step number one is uh just replace any spaces with underscores okay uh wait question is whether we can actually do that uh let's see can we do that? Uh, find and replace over here? Nah, that's all right. All right. Uh, install date. Well, meanwhile, while we do this process, we get to know the columns a little bit better. Event name, publisher, sub-publisher, geo state city, the postal code. All right. And you'll see uh, with with SQL, it's usually much bit much easier to just have underscores. Ah, okay. You see, everything is is uppercase but that's okay as long as it's consistent okay mm, okay well those two it's usually better to, to remain consistent in terms of the naming and that kind of stuff okay let me click to install time okay new account i'm also going to put it in underscore because people might write sql queries on this you have to be friendly to the next guy who picks up the code right Okay, first underscore deposit. All right, cool, really cool. Now all everything is. Um, let's double check over here. Okay, first deposit. All right, everything is is in the same, the same format, and um, and we're ready to export this and plug it into a MySQL database over here. So we're gonna do file. We're gonna do download as a CSV file. Okay. Meanwhile, okay, cool. Now that we've got that, that okay, you'll see it downloaded over here, campaign data. And now um, we're going to go into, what's the name of that program? It's called XAMPP. All right, I'm going to show you here a really cool use case for XAMPP. Okay. Oh, shnikes. Okay, if you don't have XAMPP, you know what? This is a good time to actually install XAMPP. All right. Um, let's go ahead and go into XAMPP. Okay, download ZAMP for Windows. You also have WAMP for Windows, but I just had better experiences with ZAMP, so. Okay, uh, ZAMP, ZAMP for Windows, download it. Okay, and nice, it's downloading it. And, um, uh, and that's going to help us turn take that CSV file that we just downloaded and upload it to a MySQL database. All right, uh, so let's wait a moment over here. And we're also going to make sure to just chop these videos up 
that way uh, it's not too much too much within one video okay we're just waiting for the file to download over here um, okay let's see all right I clicked it it's gonna ask me whether I want to install it okay as you this is what's gonna come up yes I do want to install them because it's an awesome program and finally it looks like it's gonna do uh, it's gonna go ahead and install it all right guys so uh, in the next video uh, we're actually gonna gonna use Zamp. Ah, you know what let's just do do this whole thing uh, let's see okay wait I encountered an error let's see what it tells us important Bec because an activated user account on your system uh, user account on your system some functions of Zamp are possibly restricted with UAC please avoid to install Zamp to blank or deactivate UAC with misconfig after this setup okay doesn't matter I haven't had any issues with that main thing is the path of least resistance just keep plugging through welcome to Zamp yes I would like to continue I don't need all this stuff webalizer but I do need PHP my admin Perl fine I'll just leave it it's probably a small language Tomcat forget it um, Mercury mail server nope don't need it FileZilla I've already got Main thing is Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Perl is um, maybe some stuff. Actually, uh, maybe the maybe Perl is a dependency, so I'm just gonna just gonna install that as well. And PHP my admin also, which is the program that we're gonna be using um, in this tutorial. Yes, I want to install it in the XAMPP folder. Okay. Oh, schnikes. The selected folder is not empty. Please select a different folder. Okay. Oh, schnikes. The moment that that happens, we actually need to go in there and let's. F I checked if I have Zamp installed, and I don't find find it. I must have uninstalled it sometime. Okay, let's do open file location. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Let's just go into the C C Zamp folder and make sure that there's nothing, not too much there. Okay, C Zamp. Uh, we're gonna go into C, into Zamp. Oh, schnikes, this is a lot of stuff over here. Ah, there's my Zamp. Okay, Zamp start. Okay, ah, Zamp start. If I click Zamp start, is that is Zamp actually available? Let's go into localhost PHP my admin. Okay, localhost slash PHP my admin. If Zamp is running, then I don't need to install it again. Hmm. Ah, okay, cool. I've already got Zamp. All right, cool. It gives me everything in Hebrew. I don't need it in that format. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this language to English over here. Uh, let's see, Tosafin Hagdalot. Let's see. Ah, okay, features. Okay. Um, ah, language equals H E. Okay. Language equals E N. All right, really awesome. Okay, cool. So here's Zamp over here. Uh, we're gonna uh, in the next video we're gonna go ahead and actually um, do some more stuff. Go on to the next stages uh, because this video is already getting a bit long. But if you have any questions on what's happening so far, getting Zamp installed, feel free to reach out. But that's step number one for getting this uh, CSV data over here into a MySQL database and then into Metabase. All right, guys, so uh, feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next one.